is great because you get to see uh, an example here. I love it when when um, command line tools do this and they say, this is what you need to do, um, which is very helpful. So the first thing we're going to do is, is we're just going to write a simple, um, I shouldn't say the word simple because it, it never is as you can, as you've, um, as you've witnessed with the Docker. Uh, what I'm going to do is just do a bin code sep and then it's a G for generate C E S T and we are going to do an acceptance and we're going to do home page okay so that now creates the home page cest cest so uh, it's here home page cest boom so that creates the, the the basic sort of template of a test for an acceptance test um, and this is the test that we need. So we're going to just do try, uh, well, it needs to be suffixed with the word test. So we can do uh, default test, right? So this is just checking. Actually, we can just do uh, default response. Um, and here we've got the I. And the I, variable I, is the acceptance tester. Um, so we can do I, uh, and what I like doing is I like putting in some text. So I want to uh, test the response code for the home page. Okay, let me drag that out because you can't see that. That's, that's horrible. There we go. Okay, so that sort of like says what is what it's going to do, and then you can do I am on page forward slash right so that's home page and then you can do i whoopsie i uh da, 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 c I can never remember c response code is 200 whoa wow now we so that 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 basically mimics me going to the home page and pressing refresh and going yes the home page still works this test is a test that i do in pretty much most of my projects um on the the pages they just crawl the pages and just tell me that things are working this is fantastic for legacy code legacy projects where you get put on a legacy project and it say you know hundreds and hundreds of pages and you're like i don't know whether these work or not so just writing these little tests, these these things, <coughs> um, it gives you a feedback, it gives you a very tight, small feedback loop that you can run as soon as you you pick up this project um, and you go, yes, I am confident that I get a 200 OK. Now, obviously, you can go into a lot more detail um, with the whole acceptance test. You can you can check for various things. You can do X path. You can do all sorts of crazy and weird and wonderful stuff you can also submit forms as well which is awesome um, so you can you can mimic the behavior of um, of a user which is great which is what I'm kind of doing here in a very light way I'm, all I'm doing is just going to a page and pressing refresh now what I need to do um, by purpose I'm gonna leave the <coughs> this uh, like so because I want this to throw a wobbly so let's do um, actually that's probably not gonna work because I do have things running on localhost okay that isn't gonna work 192 what's my um, let's come out of the container because I can't remember what my IP address is docker machine IP how to code well OOP PHP what is the IP there we go okay so the IP is 192 one six eight one hundred. And we don't need any of that this crazy stuff because we don't have that. So we're gonna hit save. Now what we can do is we can jump back straight into the container again and we can do um remove all that. So vendor <coughs> excuse me, vendor bin uh and we can just simply do a run. Uh so that will run. So it's trying to test the response code of the home page and then hopefully um, although I've just thought I'm running this within the container and that's probably going to fail uh, because the container itself doesn't see that IP. So that's a bit of a problem. Let's go and 
so what I'm saying is if whoa, 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 whoa. if I if I do an exit and then we're now on the host machine. So I'm going to mile a minute, sorry. So if we do a vendor bin code set run. So we're doing it from the host machine. Let's see. Come on. Come on. One nine two one six eight. Ah, I've got the IP wrong. I have the IP wrong. That's why it's probably freaking out. Ninety nine dot one hundred. There we go. Save that. Uh, boom. So there we go. It uh, it ran. We have one test, one assertion. The assertion being that uh, we are. Where are we? I can't find the file now. Acceptance. So this is the assertion. We are asserting, we are checking that the response code is, is 200. Um, we get a deprecation warning. Thank you for that. <laughs> uh, um, it's, it's done no unit tests. It's done no functional tests, but it has done a acceptance test. And we 